Unbelievable. This was, I mean, this is when Star Wars worked so hard on the whole season. Peter, you know, with his nails, we made it here to the last race. I mean, unbelievable. I, I, I thought we were going to make it. We had a meeting to see how, you know, we could put everything together to be here. And Ryan is, I mean, I can't, I can't get a better teammate than what I have. And he did an excellent job. Uh, but it all goes to the whole team. I mean, the whole team did it. The last pit stop was amazing. We gained positions there. And to the effort and love for the sport that Peter has got, it's, it's what made us come here and, and, and what's, what's done this. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable for, for all my sponsors in Venezuela, for the whole country that's been supporting us. Uh, it's a great way to end the season and, and just gives us more hope and, and more courage and, and, and drive to come next year and, and have a great season again. Yeah, I must say the two last races have been awesome. Uh, two wins, uh, only done five races this year. Uh, so it's good to finish the season off uh, very strong. But uh, yeah, it could only happen with uh, the Stevenson Motorsport and GM and Ben with Johnson with Brad Metal. They've just been an awesome job the last few races. Uh, could have been three in a row for the team uh, with Jan and Robin leading in Watkins. Uh, so two in a row now and finish off the season strong. Just very happy. Yeah, we definitely went into Montreal thinking that we had a, a car to win. Um, we had a lot of momentum after Watkins Glen, and uh, we've been close. And today was one of those days. I, I don't think anything was going to go wrong. I, I think I hit every single car out there uh, to get to the front. And, and once I did get there, the last couple of restarts were pretty hectic. Um, hit a couple of GT cars trying to gap myself to Scott. But like I said, it was it was our day to to get the victory, and I don't think uh, don't think anything was going to take it away. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a tough start to say the least. It's been a pretty uh, up and down season for us. We finished very strong. Obviously uh, won the last two rounds and we had a win back in Lime Rock in June. But, um, you know, the car's been very strong all year. I think we've led more laps than anybody else this year. And it's testimony to the, the pace that we've had of the Camaro and the job that Stevenson Motorsports has done. But obviously we haven't really been able to convert enough of that pace into race results to end up fighting for the championship at the end. It's, that's disappointing that we're out of the teams and drivers by a long way but obviously very pleased to get the manufacturers championship at the end there for Chevrolet it was very critical because we had to beat the Mazda and win the race and that was what obviously what we were able to do and by doing that it was enough so um, I'm sure Chevy is very happy that we managed to pull that off at the last minute for them there absolutely it uh, was definitely a wild caution filled race we had a lot of cars this weekend so on this style of track, we anticipated that, and uh, you know, our crew made a great pit strategy call. The iMoto guys called it, pit a little early, anticipating a lot of cautions that really worked out to put us up front and uh, let my brother, uh, Mark, do the, do the rest at the end. He drove a great stint second and uh, you know, brought it home for us. And after this season, we've had a lot of ups and downs uh, this season with some bad luck. We've been on the podium twice, haven't gotten a win yet, but it feels good to bring home the first Mazda Speed 3 win uh, for Mazda as well as uh, helping them clinch the championship this weekend. It was a pretty crazy race. Uh, we, uh, coming into it, had a few, let's say, big issues, but we weren't exactly where we wanted to be, even up to and through qualifying. Uh, but this morning, in the warm-up, in the cool temperatures, things were kind of coming together. And at the start of the race, things were very good. So the team uh, really, really made the right call setup wise we all got it together the rum bum team joe vardy and all the guys just as usual right on top of their game and uh as far as i was concerned things were good At the start of the race i felt like we had a very good car i was sort of hanging out there i guess in third place and it was i don't say easy to stay there but i felt pretty comfortable uh, at that point and i knew we kind of had something but this track is so you know it's challenging one lane and uh, essentially uh, a lot of cars together, mix that up in a bag, and you get explosive results as you saw today. So uh, it was all down the mat right at the end. We're in a good position, made the right calls, and right at the end there, I don't know that we had anything really for the 61 car, but right, some little miscue happened right at the end, and Matt was absolutely pressuring him and on him the whole time. So he had the opportunity to get the first place, and you know, that's the fantastic way to end the season, and a big thank you to everybody on the team, and here we go again for 2012, hopefully. This has been a dream come true this year to get to race in endurance racing with my brother. That's that's where my family started. That's how my dad. That's what my dad did in the 80s, and uh, we grew up at the track. It's just great to be at Mid Ohio, where we used to be little kids running around in the grass and uh, and stand on the top step of the podium and, and do it with your brother. There's nothing better than that. So got to say thanks to the family and uh, everybody that's here supporting us and and uh, one of our crew members who's missing this weekend, who's who's injured. So. Uh, 
just got to say thanks to everybody involved. Thanks to Grand Am for giving us a chance and Glenn Buccino for uh, being the best uh, team manager and driver, co-driver that there is around.